Hi guys. Today for Manny Monday, I found this fucking thing. Okay, so you've all seen, ignore the little bits of polish I couldn't get off. Today has been a struggle. I'm sure some or all of you have seen this whole um, dip powder thing. They were trying to push it off as like chemical free and all that shit, but it's actually just acrylic powder. I found that at Walmart. So it's got a clear powder, it's China Glaze. This was $12 at Walmart. And they had a bunch of different colors, which I kinda think I might wanna try out if this turns out okay. It's got a neon pink, a clear, and the, I guess, base and top coat or activator, whatever the hell those are. We're gonna check out the instructions maybe and uh, figure this out. This is one of these things. I thought it was dumb when they came out with the professional ones and now they've come out with this. So I'm gonna try these out today. We're gonna see how the drugstore version of this goes. Um, I have taken um, an intro course with the Pro Dip system when that one first came out. So I have a rough idea of what I'm doing but we'll go over the instructions and uh, let's just get right into this because I want to try it. In the kit we have a base and top coat, the activator, a clear acrylic powder. It says dip powder. It's, it's an acrylic. This is the acrylic powder. This would be your acrylic fluid. Hi, Winston. And then we also have the neon pink acrylic powder. Step one. Prepare dip powder by removing the lid and dust cover from jar. So, lid and dust cover. So we've got some neon pink acrylic right here. 1A, start with the pinky of one hand. Carefully apply one coat of base plus top coat. 1B, dip the finger into dip powder, making sure to dip entire nail. Hold for three seconds and repeat with all 10 nails. So oh, we've got our base coat and activator. We're gonna do what they said. We're gonna do one finger at a time. We're gonna start with the pinky. Dip the entire finger in for three seconds. So I'm just gonna use my little fan brush here to lightly, oh. Well, look at that, would ya? Okay, well let's do the other fingers and we'll come back to this. Let's try to concentrate this one just on the tip and see what happens. We're dusting. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Look at that. This is bad. This is bad. That's awful. So let's try to fix these up. This looks kind of gross. Okay, let's dust these. Hey, that's better. Oh, look at that. There's no activator on this yet, so it's kind of doughy right now is what it feels like. Look how stained my fingers are though. Next, repeat above steps on all 10 nails. For this one, instead of doing a second coat of the pink, I'm going to try to really do this like a French and put the clear acrylic on the parts here. That looks funky. Let's see how it looks when we dust all this off. That one looks good. <laughs> I 
thumb. The thumb is just beyond help at this point. What's next? Activate all 10 nails. Apply one coat of activators, allow 10 nails to dry. Okay, and then we get to shape them. But you know what? It doesn't give you a file in this. Which is funny because it says it has everything you need. Like, I have a file on hand. But, like, does everybody who bought this kit have a file on hand is my question. Activator. Okay, so now I let this dry. So now that this is dry, we're going to, I'm going to use, I've just got my regular boomerang file. And I'm gonna just lightly buff these down a bit and see what I can do about this crap here. I'll be right back. So these are filed down. I'm gonna take one of these sponges and I'm just going to get the dust off of these fingers. So the last step is to base and top coat on all the nails. Okay, this is actually really weird. Like, look how it's drying down. Final thoughts on this. I'd say this is worth trying out again. I think I might get a glitter pack and test it out. I don't know if I'm brave enough to try this on my right hand because I am left-hearted. I would suggest that if you are already used to doing your own acrylics at home or if you are a nail tech like myself, but work with acrylics, I work with gel, I'm not used to acrylics, but regardless, if you're used to manipulating acrylics, I don't think this stuff's good because you can't control, you have no control over it. If this is something that you, you, you're you not used to doing nails and you just kind of want to test it out like I'm doing, then it will be a mess. But if you are sensitive to acrylics or the either the polymer or monomer comes with dealing with acrylics, you are working with both of those things. Despite what some packaging may lead you to believe, this is acrylic powder and it doesn't, it's not an overpowering smell, but when you are putting the activator on the acrylic, it smells like when you get your acrylic nails done. There's some benefits to this as opposed to doing acrylic nails, um, the traditional way, and then there's also some setbacks. So I'd leave that to your own discretion. I don't think these are a horrible product. I don't think they're a waste of life on the shelf. And I don't even necessarily want to say that this is something to be left to professionals to do because it is so simple and like really easy to do at home. Like there's no real skill to it. You don't, it's just a matter of getting used to uh, how much of everything you put on this stuff gets behind your nails and it feels uncomfortable. I don't really like the finish on this though. I might put a regular top coat on this. Well, that's a little less gross looking now, isn't it? Well, thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, I will definitely try to do this again with maybe some glitter ones. Let's see if we can do some different designs and stuff with this. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and we will see you in the next video. Okay, just a little update. Um, these are so crappy. And I don't think it's just because like I've never used it before. Like it's the finish on it alone is legitimately crap. If my phone will relax, maybe you can see it. But like, I don't know. I top coated the crap out of these things and they still look like ass. Take from this what you will.